Okay, in this video, I want to show you how to grow chilies hydroponically without any water or air pump or any artificial light. Uh, and uh, this is with very minimum effort. So this uh, is a picture from a chili plant of mine that was transplanted into this uh, a small homemade hydroponic system. There's a uh, net cup here and I'll show you the details in a minute. And uh, it is very, very cheap to make. The picture is taken exactly after two months of transplanting of this uh, plant in this uh, net pot. And you can see there's a very healthy fruit here ready to be harvested. There's one more there. Uh, there's a small one here. Uh, there's a small one here. Uh, there's two more here. Some flowers, a bud here and a small bud here. And I'll show you a video in which it uh, has a number of flowers. So very, very satisfying uh, experience. I'm very happy with the results. Uh, and I used a cracky method to grow this plant. And in last two months, I changed nitrogen solution four times only. So this is a very good method for someone who is very, very busy, just like myself and i have not tried any pesticides or any herbicide on this plant intentionally you can see so this is sitting outside in my uh, uh, garden and as you can see there's some damage to leaves uh, just here as well uh, by bugs but i am hesitant to use any pesticide or any herbicide on this plant as yet so i'll show you how to grow a uh, how to grow chilies in a hydroponic system like this so i bought a few chilies from a local supermarket waited till they were ripen and well red in color and took the seeds out here i'm putting the seeds in a regular potting mix no hydroponics as yet this does not require any experience you spread them as evenly as you can some seedlings will have to be destroyed uh, as i do not want to grow hundreds of plants here I'm covering them with a thin layer of potting mix and I just had to water uh, the pot for a few days and in due time small seedlings emerged. You can see there's some damage to the leaves by snails and air wicks but I'm hesitant to use any pesticide as yet. After a few days I will have to destroy most of the plants and choose the healthiest one uh, to use in my small homemade hydroponic system it is now time to get ready for our small homemade hydroponic system for hydroponic setup this is the coconut coir i will be using instead of soil this is actually ground coconut husk and it is an inert medium means it does not have any nutrient in it for the plants I will also be using a net pot which I bought from a local hydroponic store for $2 and I will also be using this 5 kg empty yogurt bucket which comes with the yogurt that I purchased from a local Indian shop. This net cup happens to be a perfect fit for the bucket. I will fill this net cup with coconut coir and transplant one tiny plant in it. I will fill half of this bucket with hydroponic nutrient solution then. You can use any suitable hydroponic solution. I use a solution called hydroponic bloom. Here I have transplanted the healthiest plant in the net cup. I'll simply put this net cup on top of the bucket that I showed you earlier and then half fill the bucket with hydroponic nutrient solution. This is after a couple of weeks of transplanting. I hope you can see a small, uh, very tiny but appearing among the top leaves. Uh, since this is just sitting on the floor, uh, bugs including earwigs do climb up and munch on leaves. I have not used any pesticides as yet. The plant still seems to be growing well despite of the damage from the bugs. This is exactly after one month of transplanting. The plant is growing really well and there are a few small buds and uh, flowers. But most importantly, there is my first tiny fruit appearing on the plant. I have changed the nutrient solution twice so far. And just to show you the quality of the nutrient solution that I put from top of the cup as you would 
it water any plant in a regular pot enough nutrient solution and uh, it is clean and this is exactly after two months of transplanting there are a number of flowers and buds as you can see many of the leaves are still uh, being eaten by air wicks. however i still have not used any pesticides on the plant it is just sitting in my garden using natural light i have changed the nutrient solution four times so far so not bad at all and here is another view of my fresh nice uh, ready to be harvested chilies uh, and there are many more to come and the nutrient solution i think it is time to change it's dirty uh, very happy and healthy plant i am very very happy with it Uh, quite a decent uh, number of uh, fruits uh, growing on this plant some tiny ones there and uh, very very healthy and happy plant and I want to show you another plant from the same batch this one is growing in a pot in a regular potting mix both the plants are same age and this one had to be watered regularly uh, as you can see there are some flowers but no fruit as yet uh, and the size of the plant is much is smaller i'm assuming that uh, this plant would also have uh, performed a bit better if this was in soil in the ground the small pots often restrict uh, the growth uh, now thanks for watching and I hope you like the video and learned something from this do not forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the video so thank you very much